One, it costs a lot to educate children. Two, he read about another country in the newspaper. What kind of news did he read? Three, Peter is concentrating on the problem. What's Peter doing? Four, Mr. Brown is a respectable person. How would you describe him? Five, what did the dinner consist of? Six, Sally wanted to know what the box contained. What did she want to know? Seven, the weather report is received daily. When do we get the report? Eight, Joe is in the Navy. Nine, the little girl had a problem when she tried to tie her shoes. Ten, the student was ready to depart. Eleven, when we went on the picnic, we participated in many games. Twelve, the woman controlled her dog with a whistle. What did she do? Thirteen, Abner needs something to wear. What does he need? Fourteen, the machine needs an operator. What does it need? Fifteen, the mechanic will inspect your car tomorrow. What will he do? Sixteen, why did you grab the handbrake? Seventeen, the dentist said that Mr. Brown has a large cavity. What does Mr. Brown need? Eighteen, Ernie arrived just in time for the meeting. When did he arrive? Nineteen, Jenny filled out the application. What did she do? Twenty, there are many facilities for recreation on this base. Twenty-one, I have to talk to Captain Smith. Twenty-two. Margaret looks like her father. Twenty-three. The sheet of paper was blank. Twenty-four. The pavement emitted a lot of heat. Twenty-five. It's freezing outside. Twenty-six. Joe and his friend went out to eat. Twenty-seven. This land is for commercial use only. Twenty-eight. Why do some women wear perfume? Twenty-nine. Mr. Jones owed a lot of money, but he paid the entire amount. How much of it did he pay? Thirty. The men had to be tough in battle. What did they have to be? Thirty-one. They have many strange ideas. What kind of ideas do they have? Thirty-two. This example is comparable to the first one. What kind of examples are they? Thirty-three. The wind died down. What happened to the wind? Thirty-four. Edward has not made a reservation yet. Thirty-five. Mr. Walton plans to attend the concert. Thirty-six. I sat next to Mary. Thirty-seven. He distributed the newspapers to the students. Thirty-eight. The vote on the bill was negative. Thirty-nine. Bill refused to do his work. Forty. He's living under adverse conditions. Forty-one. Robert has an accumulation of books. Forty-two. Okay, you've convinced me. Forty-three. You have to go over your lessons. Forty-four. Hundreds of people work for the company. Forty-five. There's a spot on the ceiling. Forty-six. The plane encountered a strong tailwind. Which direction did the wind come from? Forty-seven. Does that store sell an assortment of candy? Forty-eight. The student said, Do you have any black ties for sale? The clerk said, I'm sorry, we just sold our last one. Forty-nine. Herbert's income is very low. Fifty. Jack said the little animal was slippery. Fifty-one. Helen Jordan is an asset to the organization. Fifty-two. In this coded message, each number represents a letter of the alphabet. Fifty-three. For many years, the distribution of land in that country was inequitable. Fifty-four. Andy was determined to go to the football game. But then he did a complete about-face. Fifty-five. Why was the student a detriment to the class? Fifty-six. Brian buys a lottery ticket every day. Fifty-seven. I'm tired of waiting for a bus. How often do they run? The schedule says every half hour. How often do the buses run? Fifty-eight. Did you enjoy your dinner at the new restaurant? Uh-huh. Everything except the vegetables. Fifty-nine. Could you let me have five dollars? Sure. Your credit is good until payday. What does the man want to do? Sixty. 
What did you do about your garage? I expanded it. What did the man do about his garage? 61. Is there something I can help you with? Sure. Would you please open this can of soup? 62. Why aren't you going? The visibility is poor. Why isn't the man going? 63. Oh, dear. All the lights in the house just went off. Looks like the whole neighborhood is in darkness. What is the problem? 64. What kind of person is your supervisor? She is very capable. 65. What is your boss like? Oh, she's very sweet. In fact, she's too sweet sometimes. You're not sure you can trust her. 66. Did you see all the monkeys in that cage? Yes, they certainly were chattering.